Hello and welcome back. Today we have another £500 worth of £2 coins. Having a look for the commemorative ones, the ones with more than face value, but ideally we are looking for one and only it is the Commonwealth Games Wales. We have every other commemorative £2 coin that's in circulation, including Northern Ireland, the rarest one to find. As I said, the rest of the book is full with all the different varieties, including the full flag Air and Navy centenary. Which is a bit of a stunning find, but there we go. Just the one to go, and fingers crossed, today could be the day we finally tick it off so we can start a new book. But without further ado, let's get into these coins. So then, what are we looking for? We had some pretty good luck in the last two pound coin hunt. Um, so that is technologies. We don't want technologies, anything else though will be of some interest at least. We've got Lord Kitchener there, a fairly common one to find. That is a nice shiny version of that one. Nothing else in that bag though. But we've got a whole bag to get through. We'll see what we can find. It's been a long time since we found a Commonwealth Games. Fingers crossed today is going to be our lucky day. On a side note, this is the last of the bags of coins I've been able to get from the bank bulk, uh, bulk withdrawing. Uh, we've got the VE Day Anniversary, or Magnanimity as it's called around here. A very, very common one. I'll add that onto the counter. So for, there is an ongoing, at least at the time of recording, an ongoing situation um, in the UK and the world at large. Um, and I'm hoping by the time this video goes up and is live, I've been able to source myself some more coins. Otherwise, we're going to find ourselves in a bit of a tricky situation. But don't worry, we've got the rest of this week's videos. <laughs> all lined up ready to go it's just onwards from here is the tricky part but i'm sure the you, the viewer watching is gonna be far more informed than myself recording now ahead of time um hopefully we won't have too many issues we've got brunel's arches the achievements of paddington station that's a fairly common one as well and its counterpart brunel's portrait there we go god oh if only i'd said commonwealth games scotland oh, wait it was not scotland man <laughs> i don't know what i'm looking for but I'd said that, we might have found it. That is Brunel's portrait, a fairly common one to find. What we'll do now is have a look at the edge inscriptions. So for those unversed in UK £2 coins, we have uh, uh, edging on the uh, right, edging letters which form uh, phrases. So standing on the shoulders of giants is the definitive. It's what it says on the technologies, but anything else will signify that we've got a commemorative coin of some description. I didn't spot anything in this handful. It's always the way, the minute I start looking at the edges, we find absolutely diddly. Let's hope that this bag does not suffer the same case of the diddlies. Uh, oh, what's that one? Fourth one down. Something. Something will turn up. I believe that is Charles Dickens. There we go. He's learning. He's learning. That's a common one to find. We'll add that onto the counter. I don't think there's anything else in this bag. Oh no, there we go. Magnanimity. We know that's going to be hot diggity dirt. It's Magnanimity. The VED anniversary. There we go. Our second one of that. I think the rest are all just technologies. I didn't spot anything at least. No, nothing at all. I'm slowly learning the edge inscriptions and I would imagine that those of you that have been watching the last few months will be learning along with me. I'm sure you will have re retained the information a lot better than I have. I tend to have um, total failure at recalling information like that. We've got the wireless uh, transmission. Another fairly common one to find. The one thing I've never found in the two pound coins, I've said before, is an NIFC. Oh, Florence Nightingale. 150 years of nursing, right? That's on the edge of this one, yeah? Hundred fifty years of nursing. 
Da 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 da. Points to Christopher collects. It's my favourite circulating two pound coin design. I think it's a really pretty design. My favourite two pound coin design, obviously Frankenstein. Again, something I've said more times than I said Christopher collects on this channel. It feels like. Let's see what what wonders this bag brings us. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. Guy Fawkes. A fairly common design to find. We'll add that onto the counter. Obviously with the edge inscriptions as well, it's 50-50 which way around it will be, whether that'll be the right way around or that'll be the way around it is. It's just the way they fall into the machine for the edge lettering to be applied. So don't get fooled and pay top dollar for a coin based on purely which way around the lettering is. And also if there's parts of the letters missing or a number missing, whatever it happens to be, um, that's very, very common to happen in the process. So don't be fooled and pay much more. I wouldn't pay any more for the, the actual value of the coin for that. Um, we've got uh, Active Union there. Bit of a mind blank there. That's another common one. And we've got another VE Day Anniversary. There we go. Nothing else in that bag there. But no, I'm at a bit of a loss as to what to say in this video because I've recorded this quite soon after recording my previous £2 coin hunt. So uh, not a lot has changed in coin collecting, but also in my little world as well. Uh, Charles Dickens again. But who knows? And by the time this video goes out, actually it will be, it'll be after this video goes out, I'm hoping, 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 potentially next week to have assuming I get the time to record it a whole coin collection video Ooh, update right we'll come back to that thought but this is a stunner the Olympic centenary an absolutely lovely coin to find over face value I have no idea what the edge inscription is either the uh, something the eighth Olympiad or something like that something the something Olympiad the fourth Olympiad London the fourth oh the fourth modern Olympic Games is it very cool 1908 wowee well there we go we've learned something new and we found a corker of a coin uh, but yes my plan was to bulk record a bunch of videos prior to well post lockdown um, and then get cracking on organizing my collection so that I can make a whole collection video which I think people have been asking about for a long long time again because it's been over a year since I last updated you, a year and two months Bruno's portrait there as we said earlier, still a common coin so if you're excited about a whole coin collection video do let me know in the comments but also don't hold me to that because it depends entirely on how much work I get done over the next couple of days because I would imagine Oh, another Brunel's Arches, the achievement at Paddington Station, whatever you want to call that one. Um, so I would imagine that, that it took me a good two hours to record my collection up my collection video last year. A whole 14 months extra of collecting coins, accumulating coins. I would imagine it's going to take even longer to record. I think it was about a 45 minute video last time. I'm going to see if I can try and get it as close to the 45 minute mark as I can without totally whizzing through like a lunatic but there might be a bunch of cuts, jumps and speed ups uh, Florence Nightingale again there we go oh there's a nice one uh, Lon uh, London, what am I about? Golden Guinea Send, uh, the anniversary, look at this though I know I've seen the dots being slightly misaligned before but that takes the biscuit <laughs> that is totally off whack See, that's what, we're, what I'm used to seeing around the rim, but then sort of some missing. That is pretty cool. It's a coin I would keep regardless, uh, the Golden Guineas, but that makes it a, bit, a little bit cooler. I wouldn't say it would add tons and tons of value, but um, an interesting oddity nonetheless. And I would imagine. Uh, I think I watched an Absolute Coins video where he said that he reckons that most collectors have an oddity box, which I very much do. I've collected, I've, I've put aside oddities. Oddities and fakes are generally my little oddities box. 
Bruno's Arches, the achievement at Paddington Station again, which goes with the other one, which I'm sure we found. There we go. Can't see if, can't see if you're looking. It is there, though. It is there. Right, so we have another edge hunt. Let's have a look. Right, what can we spot? What can we spot? I see lots of shoulders of giants. I think that's all. I think this has got the case of the diddlies. Yeah, nothing, nothing whatsoever. We'll keep going till we find something. Oh, top one, top one. United into one kingdom has to be active union, right? There we go. Ding, ding, ding. More points to Christopher Glex. And to those of you in the comments that got it as well. Uh, I think there's just shoulders of giants. We got something there. We got something. And I got the points for it. <laughs> and I was in the right ballpark for the... Olympic Centenary as well, 4th Olympiad London, whatever that was. There's another Golden Guinea! I'll have a look. What I mean about the dotting, the dotting, the dots around the rim. This one is very much out of whack, this one is much closer. What's the edge on this one? It's something like... Uh, oh, something about what a wonderful, what a wonderful coin, what a wonderful denomination, what a wonderful... What is a guinea? Tis a splendid, not wonderful, splendid thing. What is a guinea? Tis a splendid thing. There we go. We'll add that one into the knowledge bank. Only for it to dissolve and disapparate momentarily. Another VE Day anniversary. Getting a fair few of them. This counter's getting a workout, isn't it? Oh, we're flying through them. We've had some good luck, though. Three overface value, one uh, special pull, two uh, co uh, scarce ones, but not the most exciting coins to find the golden guineas, but I will take them and I will not grumble. So at this point, I'd be happy to find any Commonwealth games. It's been so long since I found one. Oh, we got Robert Burns there. Another one that's slightly over face value. A very lovely coin to find indeed. Well, we're up to four now. That's good going. I can't complain at that. Right. Three bags left. I'll have a look at the edge of this bag. What have we got? Oh, remember. Fourth down. Remember, remember. It's got to be Guy Fawkes, right? Hi folks, easy peasy. There we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. What have we got if anything else? I think the rest are just standing on the shoulders of giants. I didn't spot anything else. Nope. Two bags left. We have kind of flown through this one. I thought I saw something there, but obviously not. Oh, there was something. It's a Britannia. Now, Britannia is always nice to find because the 2015 was the first year Britannia replaced um, technologies as the d definitive design. And it's a low minted year as well. Two, uh, 650,000, I believe. Um, 2016, still a, a low minted coin, I would consider it. It's, a, it's just above the 1 million mark. 2017 and 18, 19, I believe. And potentially 20 and not intended for circulation, although I was promised, or indicated I should say, not promised, indicated that we would be getting a 2020 Britannia into circulation. There's still plenty of time left in this year for that to um, come about, but I am not holding my breath. What year is this one then? 2016, it's still a lovely, lovely find, one that I am more than chuffed to add into my hoard. And that is the rest of that bag. Well, all of a sudden we find ourselves on the last bag. 
Well, for those of you that watch this far into the video, you might be interested to know that I have a Discord server. You can click the link down in the description to come and join that if you're over the age of 13. That's their rules, not my rules. You can also catch me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or you can write into the PO box. Again, all those details are down in the description. What a gross last coin to find. Lovely stuff. Who knows what's happened to that? Who wants to know more to point? Well, a bunch of really nice finds to be fair. I think the star pull, that shadow of a doubt for two weeks in a row is going to be an Olympic two pound coin. It is the Olympic centenary. Lovely, lovely stuff. Well, there we go. As ever, all that leads me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.